Hello everyone, uh, this is Destro. Um, welcome back to Destro's Quest. I've got a few things to uh, to show off today that, that I'd like to um, to cover. I've been using the um, the rotary macerator for things. It's uh, to the full 10,000 RPM, so it goes uh, actually really fast. I can demonstrate that if you'll give me a second. I have to go dig out some ore. Um, let's see, what do we have in the way of ore? Uh, okay, well we've we've got a whole bunch of iron ore, so why don't why don't I just um, I'll just transmute some of that. We'll we'll solve the uh, solve the problem. Uh, philosopher stone, gold ore. There we go. Okay. It does use rather a lot of power, as you'll see. See, draining power at a very, very good rate there. But, on the other hand, it's already done. That was, that was 16 um, blocks of gold ore, and it's already done smelting them. Or, sorry, not smelting. It's already done um, crunching them up into little tiny bits so that I can smelt them which I will do here. And uh, you remember how slow the old macerator was. Uh, there, there's one over here that... Uh, does this thing have any... Okay, yeah, it does have some charge in it there. So, what do we have? It's flint. Do we have any gravel? No, we don't. Well, whatever. We'll just turn this on once. There we go. That's, that'll be three blocks of gravel there as opposed to the, the 16 ingots, uh, no, sorry, 16 ores that I put into the, um, the macerator down there. And this is just a regular macerator. This isn't a rotary one. This goes at regular macerating speeds, and it takes, well, quite a bit longer, quite a bit longer for each block. Um, that's not what I meant to show off. And, of course, that one uses a lot less power. <coughs> Sorry, um, what I meant to show off is the reason that I have all of this stuff here. Uh, this is covalence dust. Y I've showed off the, the medium level of it before. That's made with iron. This is made with cobble, and that is made with diamonds, and so it's, you know, fairly expensive. Um, anyways, there's a couple things that I need to make with these, but I need to look up the recipe for the second one. Okay, paper and two string. And I believe I have paper. Oh, wrong one. Paper. And I can put this back in here and collect two string. There we go. And now I have everything I need to make both items. And then, whoop. There we go. This is a talisman of repair. It's another, uh, it's another magical item. And I think it repaired my gold sword there. I think if you leave this um, in your inventory here, just carry this around with you, uh, what it'll do is it'll use up covalence dust to repair your things. Um, but that's not what I want it to do. That is not what I want it to do at all. What I want it to do is I want it to go in... Uh, okay, iron, stone, chest, diamond, and... Okay, yeah, I put that the wrong way around. Yeah, there we go. Alchemical chest. Now the useful. This is an expensive, expensive box. Obviously, you saw up there how many. Uh, but this isn't a very big chest here. The one that I have here. Uh, do we have any more ore coming anytime soon? Yeah, it looks like we will. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll knock this out here and put this there in its place. Oh. Uh, 
yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if you actually have to use a, uh, oh, uh, there. Yeah, okay. Good. It's substantial. It's a very large box. And I think that if I leave this in here, um, I should be able to just drop stuff in there and have it repair itself. Um, I'm going to test that with this iron sword that I that I have. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll test it with I'll test it with the gold one. The gold one's going to be quicker to get visibly broken. Just need to find something to hit with it. That's a mouse. Won't drop anything useful. There's a bear. He's behind the fence though, so I'm not going to not going to worry about him. Um, you can see that they've they've upgraded their tavern a little bit. I've been giving them items and things so that the the villagers can, you know, get some work done. Everything's going pretty well for them as far as I've been able to gather. Actually, uh, you know what? Let's go out and have a look at uh go out and have a look at check uh, have a look at check on how the the quarry is doing maybe I'll find something I can hit with this in the meantime the um the bear back there by the way he's in the same place that the unicorn used to be I'm not sure where it went it seems to have just wandered off or something I don't know um a little worrying that it was you know there at all but things have things have been just a little odd around here, uh, and I think that's just another symptom of well things being odd around here. Uh, melons there. Leave those alone. I'm pretty sure I've got lots of melons back uh, back at my house, and there you can see the quarry just over there. We still have quite a good supply of oil here. We can be uh, be able to keep this thing running for a little while. How much? Uh, okay, yeah, it's not too full of cobblestone. Oh! Huh. Must have hit a dungeon. Yeah, look, it hit a dungeon down there. Um... I'm not jumping down there. That doesn't strike me as particularly safe. But I can I think I can see uh it looks like there's some lapis down there or something. There's definitely some valuable materials down there that this thing is missing. And I'm going to have to uh go down there and collect those at some point and also um deal with that lava there. Hmm. Okay, do I have a bucket with me? I do have a bucket with me. Okay, let's deal with the lava. This ought to do it. The quarry will mine through water, but it will not mine through lava. Um, which means, of course, that that lava down there in the corner was going to be quite the right nuisance. However, I think I have now turned it into cobblestone or obsidian or something, I don't know. And the quarry will have to you know, go back and pick it up again. You can see the water is actually going down pretty slowly. Uh, and you know how fast water goes, uh, water flows down, of course. Um, you can tell how deep this hole really is. The quarry is going to stop once it hits bedrock, so it's not going to be mining through the world or anything. <laughs> Um, which is kind of an odd feature of our world, really, that it's, you know, flat. Um, but not not to worry, not to worry. I'm sure that's not a problem. Um, okay, it's getting dark, so we're going to have things that I can actually hit with the, uh, things that I can, yeah, see, there we go, obsidian. It's going back to pick up the lava, it looks like. 
which is great because um, I could probably use some more obsidian. So let's take that. Let's just take that with me. And uh, the rest of the cobblestone. I'm not going to worry, really worry too much about it. But we'll we'll take some with me just so that we can free free up a bit more space in this chest here. Uh, and yeah, it's definitely dark now, so I'm going to get out of here before a creeper decides that I look like... <laughs> before a creeper decides that that's a very nice quarry I have there. But, uh, since it is getting dark... Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Night vision is activated, and if there's any monsters to see... I will hopefully see them before they see me, and then be able to smite them with my mighty sword. My, my mighty gold sword of needing repair a lot. Maybe there will be a werewolf, I'll at least need it to kill him. I haven't seen too many of those lately, which is, uh, again, uh, moderately worrying. <laughs> I'm not sure whether where they've gone or if they're planning something or what. Planning something strikes me as something they would do. Okay, that's just a bear. And there's another bear down there. So let's give the bears a bit of a... a bit of a wide... Oh, yep, yeah, there's a werewolf. Hey, look! Here he is. Yeah, you get away. Okay. Yeesh. These things still scare me, but uh, at least they're slightly less worrying now than they used to be. Oh, spiders! Spiders! Get back! Get back! Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, sword's damaged a bit. That's good. That's what we want. Switching to the better sword. And running for home. I see torches, so that means the village is close at least. And I hear rats. And I see my house. My, uh, my workshop. <laughs> well, I don't really have a house built yet, but I'll be working on that, um, soon. Okay, here we go. We're inside. We're safe. Night vision off. Should be, d should be, uh, bright enough in here to see, thanks to all the, uh, the lighting I have. I'm going to install some proper lighting in the village at some point, too, I think. Okay, now let's see if this works. Yes, it does. See, here we go. We have uh, Talisman of Repair down here in the alchemy chest. Slowly repairing my golden sword for me without the need for covalence dust. Uh, obviously, this isn't a portable solution. Uh, I would need covalence dust. I will still need to hold on to that for the purpose of making things portable. But it has fixed my golden sword right up all the way to the top. Very nice. And, uh, toss the golden apple in here. Pork chops. Okay. Uh, I did take some damage from those spiders. So I will smelt my pork chops. And make some more diamonds. transmute everything into everything else which is very useful for keeping me supplied with these these are a very expensive um, very rare sort of resource of course naturally naturally they are um, and it's you know it's tricky to find enough of them to make some of the things like mo most of the expensive the uh, the really powerful alchemical items I can make require rather a lot of dark matter, which requires, in turn, rather a lot of diamond. And <coughs> Sorry. And, uh, well, without a Philosopher's Stone, I wouldn't be making too much of this stuff. The next one I'm going to get is, uh, what is this? This is the Evertide Amulet. I believe... Oh, what's it called? You know what? I can't remember what it's called right now. It's in one of my books somewhere. But, uh... I'll look it up. I'll look it up later. Oh, right. 
That's what we need. And there we go. Just compact those a little bit more so that they're not taking up quite so much space. Um, now, where's my crafting book? Because uh, I've still got a little bit of a uh, little bit of time here, I think. I can show should be able to show off one more one more item that I can make. Um, thanks to the obsidian. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, of course, the various things. I think it's this way. Let's see if I can remember. Or if I've got this entirely wrong and I don't even know what which recipe it is. Looks like I might not know what I'm talking about here. Yeah, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. I didn't need obsidian after all. Well, I could make, uh... I could make one of those. I'm not rightly sure how those work yet, though. One of the problems of um, leaving the the sort of magic college that we have here before they'd really taught me everything was uh, I don't have an idea of what certain things might do, which is a problem. But we'll uh, we'll get past that. Okay, yeah. Here here's okay. That's what I need for these. So I need three diamonds for those and a furnace. Well, we're still going to make that because I kn I know what that one does. They did, I did manage to figure out what these ones did before I got, um, you know, kicked out. But uh, we'll use some of those handy new diamonds I have, and three more of those, and one of that, and I used up all my cobblestone, didn't I? No problem. No problem. I can make more. Transmuting works backwards too. So, you know, there's always that. Now then. There we go. That, this, this item here, is a glowstone aggregator which will, I believe, make glowstone out of various things. Okay, so we'll put that there. We'll take... four of those, because that's how many you get from breaking down a single block of glowstone. And do I have any bones? Yes, I do. I have three bones. Okay, good. I'm going to need one of those. One of the other things I discovered down in that uh, that laboratory underneath the pyramid, the, the library that the... I think he was an Archmage. Well, anyway, whatever he was, whatever, what he had down there, um, one of the things I discovered was that you can make torches with bones as well, and they're slightly better than just, you know, making regular torches for, uh, for you know, the amount of light they, they put out. Where is it? Um, do I have... No, I don't have... Now I have. Been steadily using up the coal in here. Mostly for powering this. But there we go. One coal, one bone, two bone torches. These will put off an amount of light roughly equivalent to daylight, I believe. They're uh, a little bit brighter than regular torches. Uh, put you in there with tools and things. Okay. Glowstone aggregators are unfortunately kind of slow, but yeah, you see, I think it's got, uh, hmm, maybe not quite enough light to run. We'll see. We'll see if it goes, uh, any fat. Does that actually work? It doesn't look like it does. I don't think that's bright enough. Oh, it is. It is bright enough. Okay, it is bright enough. It just goes really, really slowly. I'll probably move that somewhere brighter, you know, out in actual daylight at some point, but for now, this should serve. 
um, that will slowly transmute these into full glowstone blocks, which is probably not as fast as the machine, but it is, you know, it's a supplement. It's not what I want to be running all the time. Um, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I clearly don't have enough blocks of diamond to make another amulet just yet. So, uh, there will be a little bit of a delay on that, I think. But, um... You know, that's all All I really have to show off for now is my... I've got a few new items. Um, I've got my, my box down there that I can use to repair all my tools. I've got, uh... Oh! No, no, I can't make that yet. Never mind. Never mind, I was, uh... I'll have to fix that up out there first. Which means I'm gonna need to make another couple of these. I hear a wolf. I think he's on the other side of that, though. Okay, gonna leave him alone. Gonna eat my pork chops. that in there. And, uh, you know, kind of work at fixing my cactus farm over there, upgrading that a little bit to run with um, the amulet here, so that I will be able to make... Oh, there he is. So that I will be able to make free buckets of water to power my watermill in there. And it should run faster than this thing does. This thing produces cactus fairly slowly. Climb up to the top here for a second. Yeah. So cactus doesn't grow particularly fast. It takes a little while. But, ow. Oh. Yeah, rain. Okay. That settles it. I'm going back inside, and I will deal with setting up the rest of this stuff later. I hate the rain. Okay. There we go. Anyways. I'm Destro. This has been Destro's Quest. This thing is still running fairly slowly. Um, I'll show you the effects of that, just, you know, to prove that I know what I'm saying, uh, next time. Until then!